Good bread and fine pastries are vital parts of any top restaurant's menu. So Kevin Spraga was off to a good start from childhood. His parents were bakers, but his own culinary career took a wider turn. Kevin won the Top Chef title in season seven of Bravo's hit cooking competition. In Philadelphia, he's executive chef and owner of Spraga, an Esquire magazine best new restaurant, and the Fat Ham with another Jumina per Commons do this fall. Top Chef Kevin Spraga, welcome to The Dish. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. This looks really stunning because I just, I, when I, when I want to go into everything. I mean, what have you brought us here? <laughs> I mean, the first thing, my favorite, lobster roll. Really, really simple, but two things that make it different. We add apples in there and we add a little bit of Tabasco. Oh, wow. And the Tabasco really accentuates it and, and doesn't it make it too spicy. Is there a little spicy. bit of mayonnaise in this also? There's mayonnaise and that's really what, what kind of cuts through it. The apple adds a little sweetness, Tabasco heat and acid balances it all out. Beautiful charred cabbage. We have fried chicken from the fat ham. We've got this awesome strawberry shortcake, Jamelli pasta. We've got a little tomato salad. And then my favorite, Bloody Mary, early in the morning, Saturday. Why not? It's not the traditional color. What exactly no, is different No, so it's about? a green tomato Bloody Mary. We wow, pickle it. green mm. tomato Bloody Mary. Exactly. Wow. And it's not as heavy. It's, it's more acidic. It's really, really light. Um, I enjoy it. And I'm not a huge fan of Bloody Marys, but this one I really enjoy. And the dessert here, because it's been staring me in the face since I sat down. <laughs> strawberry shortcake. It's a strawberry shortcake Sunday. Um, strawberry ice cream, whipped cream, biscuits. Whip, you know, you can't go wrong with that. So when we were introducing you, we talked about how both of your parents were bakers. Mm -hmm. Most people, you would think, okay, he's probably going to go into baking. This is obviously very savory. Right. When did you make that decision? I was probably like 11, 12 years old, and it was because... Baking takes a precision that I didn't have at that age. Uh -huh. I just wasn't disciplined. I'm like, I'd rather just play with the food and just cook <laughs> something. So it was a lot easier than having to be so disciplined. You started out watching a lot of PBS television shows, yeah. I hear. Yeah. I mean, Martin Yan, Yan Can Cook. Um, I still remember that. That was a good that, show. That was a great <laughs> show. If Yan Can Cook, so can you. Yes. I mean, I, I, there were so many great shows back then. And I still watch PBS today because it's so authentic and it's so real and mm -hmm. I enjoy it. So a lot of people, when they see you, I'm sure immediately are like, the guy from Top Chef. Yeah. How does that affect a, a chef after they leave the show? It's, it's a completely different beast. I mean, life completely changes. I mean, I've gotten to travel the world. I've gotten to meet so many great people. I've gotten to cook so many great meals for people. It's just, it's amazing. It's a lot of fun, and I, I really enjoy it. You opened your restaurant in Philadelphia pretty much right after that. Correct. Were you trying to ride the wave? What were you... No, the whole reason, the whole, the whole purpose of me going on the show was to open the restaurant, and it yeah. was like, come off the show, let's get the restaurant open. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your newest restaurant, yeah. Juniper Commons. So Juniper Commons is a, a throwback to the 80s, and everyone's like, what, what does that mean? And it's kind of like old school country club food, prime rib, rotisserie chicken, mm. um, baked stuffed flounder, but done really well. Executed for 2014, 2015. So really refined. Is that a departure from the type of food you're used to cooking? Yeah, I mean, Spraga is more uh, modern American. We, we use global influence on the flavors. Uh, we have a great pasta section on that menu, and you won't, won't really see that. Um, at Juniper Commons, and then the fat ham is all about southern food. Mm -hmm. You might see a nice heirloom tomato salad or fried chicken there, but uh, at Juniper Commons, it's, it's, it's different. Philly has become such a huge restaurant town. What, what prompted you to sort of set up shop there? I mean, I grew up 20 minutes outside of Philadelphia. Yeah. It's home to me. Always wanted to go back there. And the, the scene, I knew it was going to be emerging soon, and it continued to emerge and continue to evolve. There's such a great community of, of chefs there. The clientele is awesome. They're would, tough, but they're awesome. Well, that's good. Tough is good. Would T you ever expand beyond Philly, do you think? Yeah, actually, we just announced it last month. We're going to expand to Jacksonville, Florida. And wow. uh, so I'm really excited about that. I'll be down there next week visiting, doing another site tour and uh, a little cooking down there. You have so many restaurants in so many different places, especially with that opening. Do you look to what is what people are eating in that local destination to help craft the menu that you're going to make? No, not really. Uh, we look at ingredients and what's wholesome, and yeah. we create our own own concept based off of what we see the market needs. All right, I'm going to hand you this dish and awesome. get your signature on it. And we want to ask you as you're signing it, if yep. you could have this delicious meal with any person, past or present, who would that person be? It, it's, it's really simple. It's not huge, but it's my kids. I, you know, if, if there's anyone I want to eat with, it's them. How old are they again? Uh, my daughter's nine years old, and my son Angelo is uh, four years old. Aww. Awesome. Yeah. Good pick. Well, Kev Shevin Spraga, thank you. And for more on Kevin Spraga and the dish, head to our website at CBS This Morning.